In this video, we'll look at pie charts in Google Sheets and how we can create them easily and how they can kind of get out of hand pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and, and create a pie chart here. I'm going to select my data. It's just a simple monthly budget for a family, maybe a family of four. Uh, and we're going to insert the chart. And it's going to pick up. It's going to suggest a column chart here. But let's go ahead and select the suggested pie chart. And this is kind of nice, actually. This isn't too bad. This is giving us uh, you know, a rough breakdown of the percentage of where the money's going in this budget. So we can see if we're spending $600 on groceries, then for expenses, that's about 18% of the expenses. It gives us a nice breakdown. We can kind of look at how the mortgage payment is this kind of big chunk, and uh, it's this big blue area. you know. So that, that's a lot. We could customize this a lot if we like. We can go into customizations. And we've got a lot of different uh, options for colors. You know, we've got all these different uh, axes and all these different series. So, you know, maybe we want to make the mortgage payment. We want to code that yellow for some reason. And for heating and cooling, maybe we want to code that, you know, blue for the cooling aspect. And maybe for groceries, you know, we'll make that green because we buy a lot of vegetables potentially. And then for car payment, you know, maybe our car is red. So we'll make that red. And, you can kind of see how you can make this kind of relevant and pertinent to, to the data that you're, you're thinking about. And it kind of works out all right. You know, we can we can do a few other things to customize the way this thing looks. You know, we can make a, we can put a big hole in the middle if we like for some reason. Uh, we can, you know, put labels in for the, the values or we can put in the values for the actual labels. So we can make it a little bit more informative. Uh, you know, we can do a couple of things to kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, and then we can go into the chart style here. Again, we can apply 3D, which for pie charts makes it a little bit more confusing. And we can kind of maximize the chart, which doesn't actually do much except for make this bigger and kind of fit direct exactly into the, the bounding square that we have. And we can resize it a little bit if we want to see what effects that have. And you can see we resize it too much. Our labels are actually just becoming ellipses at the end there. Um, but if we take that off, maybe we want to make the background color. Maybe we want to make it a nice light gray. And... You know, we can make our, you know, let's uncheck maximize here. And maybe we want to change our series titles here or modify the legend so that, you know, maybe it's bold labels instead. Or, you know, maybe we want to make it instead of this darker gray. Maybe we want to make the, maybe make it a little bit bigger and we can change the font color. Maybe we want to make it full black. There we go. So, you know, and make it just a little bit wider so we don't get that ellipsis there. There we go. So we can we can get a little bit of information out of this one, which is good, and we can kind of identify the breakdown. But the problem with pie charts comes in if we look at a bigger pie chart. So if we break this budget down even further and we insert a pie chart here, um, let's go ahead and make this a pie chart. Now you'll see it, it's actually now this becomes a lot harder to follow. You can still see that the mortgage payment is a big chunk of it, uh, but it's a lot harder to break down. You know, well, how do these things compare? And, you know, we can kind of look at this, but... You know, when we get a lot of values like this, a pie chart's kind of a hard chart to understand. So, you know, a lot of experts say that pie charts aren't great ways to visualize data. If we were to visualize this as a column chart instead, it would make it a little bit easier to compare what the proportions are between things and how, you know, how the whole budget breaks down. And using this, we could actually customize this so we can edit the chart and customize. You know, we can make it, you know, we can maximize and we can kind of break it down a little bit more effectively to, to so we can see exactly where these values lie and what this scale is and how things compare to each other. So it's often, uh, you know, there's often a lot of reason to choose different types of charts. Uh, you can see here the pie chart works out pretty adequately in this case, but if we try to make this a pie chart on our, uh, on our more detailed list, it just becomes kind of a messy thing to, tr to figure out. So you kind of have to use pie charts uh, sparingly, but they are pretty good for compare, you know, identifying how something is composed and what makes it up. Thanks for watching, and in our next few videos, we'll get into scatter charts as well as inserting images and drawings into our, our spreadsheets.